Hello my lovelies, today I'm coming at you guys with a very quick video. You guys have been asking for more fitness videos, so that is what I'll be recording today. Hey guys, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, whatever, I don't know where it is. It changes, but it might be, I don't know. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll be coming at you guys with more fitness videos, as well as what I'm eating, because that's a very, very big question from you guys. So I get a lot of comments on Instagram, uh, I get emails, I get DMs about if I waist train, and if I do, what are the benefits, or do I suggest waist training? So you guys probably seen some of my Instagram posts recently um, of me embracing my weight loss. I am officially down, I believe, 30 pounds and eight and a half inches or eight inches, one of the two. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'll leave my measurement somewhere right here. As of right now, I have a waist measurement of 26, a little over 26 and a half inches, and around my belly button is 29 inches now. So I'm super excited. The beginning of my journey around my belly button was 36 and a half inches. Above my navel was 32 and a half inches, meaning my waist. My waist, I've lost about five and a half inches. So that's really big. I'm super excited about it. So now let's get in the nitty gritty. What waist trainers do I use? Which ones I suggest? And why I think you should use one. Now, the difference between waist training and corset training is two different things. I personally don't corset train. I think that's very intense. That's the one that has steel bones, you pull the strings, and yada yada yada. But as far as what I've been doing for my workouts and throughout the day, I will show you right now. So, if you follow me on Snapchat, you've already seen this bad boy. And if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you probably should because I post a lot of like what I'm eating, what's in my refrigerator, what's in my freezer. Um, meals and etc so if you want like a part of my daily life as well as certain fitness tips or makeup tips you can follow me on snapchat it's Jamexican Beauty but if you follow me on snapchat you've seen me wearing this bad boy so I pretty much have been using this thing now for all of my workouts literally all of them before I used to use a regular cincher but now I use this the reason why I like this over a cincher for working out is because it gives you more flexibility. It keeps you together as far as your posture, but it's not as structural as, as a cincher would be. So I feel that I could do more exercises that I couldn't really do as good with a cincher. So this has like the Velcro right here. And what I like about this is it can mold to your size because you, you basically can wrap it around you and then tighten it with these smaller ones. So this is something, a good investment for even when you're getting smaller, you can still take advantage of it because you could just literally make it tighter each time. So the reason why I like this is because it makes you sweat. Oh my God, the other day I posted on my Snapchat, I had danced for like an hour and a half to merengue and bachata. It was like an intense workout, okay? And this thing was so, it was so heavy that if I threw it at your head, you probably would have fell out. Like it was drenched in sweat. So I was really excited about that and it just goes to show that it actually does work. The retail on this is only $45 and I honestly think it's a good investment just because you could use it for so long. Now as far as the day goes, I do wear a trainer. I don't necessarily wear it all day. Bare minimum, I wear it for four hours. Um, sometimes, depending on how I feel, I do wear it all day. I don't have a cincher that I'm like, can't breathe, I'm choking, like no. Your cincher is supposed to compress, but at the same time, you should be able to breathe. You should be able to do daily activities. You shouldn't be so tight that like you're uncomfortable. It may take some adjustment to get used to when you first get it, but other than that, you shouldn't be super uncomfortable. Now, the cinchers are great because they help you sweat, but they also help with posture. I've been wearing a cincher since I started my weight loss journey. So from this picture and this picture, I'll put it somewhere right here, you can see that my curves are definitely a lot more dominant now than they were when I first started. So I definitely do think that the cinchers help um, and that's just my opinion. So I'll show you the cincher I use. So right now I'm wearing my cincher, um, but this is the same exact thing, just in a different size. This is the three hook black latex hourglass cincher, and this is long. Long is great for me because like I said, I have a long torso, so it literally covers me from here all the way down to my lower abs. It's perfect for me. So this is a size small, 
I officially now can fit in the small, but it's a little too tight still. So I probably have about a couple more pounds to lose before I could comfortably um, um, wear one. So I am the first hook if I choose to squeeze my little turkey stuff in there. But like I said, I don't want you guys thinking your waist cincher has to be uncomfortable. Like it shouldn't be uncomfortable. So um, right now I am wearing a medium cincher and I will be in the small one probably within the next week or so. Um, so I will show you what it looks like. So this is what the waist cincher looks like. I am on the last hook as you can see. Um, so from my measurements, I will post pictures of my measurements with and without the cincher, but it takes off about two inches off my, my waist. So I believe um, without it, I'm 26 and a half, and with it, I believe I am 25, or yeah, so about two inches or an inch and a half it takes off. And then off my stomach, it's pretty much the same, around my belly. Now I'm gonna talk about the differences between cinchers, because I know some of you are like, the retail on this one is $60, and I know some of you are probably like, oh, I could find it cheaper. This is actually, I think the first time I bought a cincher, I spent $110 on it. And I want to say it fell apart within a month. I was livid. This one is actually made in Colombia. These are like the legit cinchers. Like, the, like these are heavy duty. Like these are like the legit cinchers. Now I'm going to show you a, a fake one, okay? This is an AliExpress one. As you can see, it's bended. It's bended and scrunched where the rods are supposed to keep you intact. It claims that it's latex, but these are two different materials. So these are the cheap versions. They're not going to last you, okay? I'm going to keep it real with you. I've been cheap. They're not going to last you. These are actually like the legit quality. They're latex, okay? So there's a difference. Now, if any of you are curious as to where I received my waist trainers, I received it from Waist Magnets. Their website will be somewhere right here, um, wastemagnets.com. I'll also leave a link in the description box below of both the waist trainers that I do have. That answers my do you waist train, because I get that question so much that it's crazy. So I just wanted to come at you guys and answer that. Now, as far as fitness videos, please let me know in a comment below what more would you like to see. I've been getting so many emails about different things that um, you guys have questions on, but I just want a general idea of what you guys want to see when it comes to my weight loss journey. I had a girl message me, um, I believe she was from like Jersey or somewhere far, and um, she had asked if I do training classes. So you know, I thought about it and I decided if you're in the Los Angeles area and you would like to do training classes with me, I will definitely start doing that. I think it would be a fun interactive way to mingle with you guys, but as well as get some of you in shape before summer officially starts. So if you're interested in that, um, just shoot me an email at princessalinlin at yahoo.com. Um, only serious inquiries because I will be breaking down what I will be doing, what I'll be teaching, how often, how much the classes will be, etc. So if you're serious about that, just shoot me an email and uh, yeah. And like usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Beauty. So if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment below, let me know, or shoot me a DM, a message, an email, da 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 whatever is easier for you. And like usual, I hope you have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you later.